Hi everyone, welcome back to a video on my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do a few different galaxy looks. Um, just really, really simple with gel and flakes I think I used. So basically I'm just going in here with a black base. Um, I'm using gel paint just because it's slightly more pigmented and a bit thicker as well so it doesn't move around quite as much. And then I'm just going in with the blue one and the lilac one and a bit of white and just doing exactly as you can see. So I'm not going to talk through this too much just because you can see what I'm sort of doing and I am actually in the middle of doing something so I'm just doing a voiceover at the same time as attempting to curl my hair. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to let you watch most of it because you can sort of see what's happening anyway. Um, obviously if anyone wants any further advice or any links to anything or anything at all, um, just comment and I will always get back to everybody. So I'm just plonking on lots of different colours here and then a bit of white just to give it a bit more depth. It's basically all about depth with the types of designs I'm showing you here on this video. Um, you're basically your main goal is to like have a few layers and just create that depth um because that's yeah that's the sort of look I'm going for here so I'm just as you can see now adding some flakes these are the periwinkle flakes from Tia's Beauty they're absolutely beautiful over black obviously they're even more beautiful over different colors because then they reflect different colors as well um, but purple is the main color that these ones reflect I'm then using Sorrel Flakes from Magpie. These reflect blue and purple. And they're just perfect for the galaxy look. All of these flakes are going into that wet layer of like marble gel and then when I've finished putting all the flakes on I pop it in the lump to cure for a full cure and then that is when I go in with a coat of Give Me Strength and then even more marbling. Okay, so I did cover up some of those flakes with the next level of mar marbling, which I did on purpose, <laughs> just to give it a bit more depth. So just because I did that, I'm now adding some more, um, basically all for depth, really. I keep saying that, like, oh, just for depth, just for depth. <laughs> but that is why I'm doing it. We just want those extra layers to give it more of a layered effect, believe it or not. I really can't talk today. I'm talking absolute rubbish. <laughs> Um, and then I'm just adding some more of these um, flakes from Tears. These are absolutely beautiful holographic silver flakes. And they just, oh, they're so shiny. It's unreal. Absolutely love them. Okay, so here I've just put a coat of Give Me Strength down, the clear one from Magpie, of course. And then I'm just going in basically just with some white dots. Um, I'm using Fresh as a Daisy because it's like a milky white and it won't make them really, really white. Um, 
so they'll just naturally spread a little bit because of the give me strength wet layer underneath and then I'm just using a dotting tool to just blend them out a little bit more with the clear and then it means I can cure that and then go in with my white gel paint with my striker brush and a dotting tool and just create some stars I will then fill in some gaps um, around the stars just with a few dots dots make all the difference I absolutely love a dot <laughs> And then that's all for this um, this design. That's number one of three done. Obviously, you don't have to do this like as a galaxy effect. You don't have to add the stars and the dots at the end. You can do it with different colours and just have it as a really nice marble effect. Really, really effective and super, super easy. Okay, so that's number one done. The next one, we're just going in again with a layer of black. They're all pretty similar. Um, I think this one I did add some slightly different flakes in. I actually did that by accident because I put the periwinkle ones back in the drawer and forgot those are the ones I was using. Rather than me. So for this, the first design I mixed the colours I was using for the marble with black um, and then put them on the nail but this time I decided to do it the other way around and I put them on the nail and then put 40 Denier um, which is a gel colour from Magpie. Put that over the top because it's like a sheer black so it basically just gave all those lighter colours a darker effect which is obviously what the point of this was. So that's what I did with this nail, slightly different this time. So after I realised that I put on the wrong, um, what's it, what are they called, flakes, I then got the correct flakes and added some of those on top, just so, because I kind of wanted the three nails that I'm doing in this video to match each other, just because they all go in like the same, um, what's it called, like nail art display, so I sort of wanted them to match, so when I put them next to each other they didn't look really random. Um, I forgot to record the first star I don't know how because that was the whole point of one of these is to show you how to do stars um, not that I'm actually all that talented in the star world but um, yeah forgot to press record didn't I so that was totally useless but there you go my brain is clear not functioning at the moment um, so anyway I've, I do spend way too much time on my stars I'm not gonna lie look it is ridiculous I don't do them very often because to be quite honest I don't see the point in hand painting them when I've got star um, what's it called stickers and stuff from magpie so I know that a lot of people are like pride themselves on doing hand painted art which absolutely you should because it is definitely something to be proud of if you can do it but on the same hand I also like not having to worry about doing everything <laughs> like myself so yeah I like to use stickers and decals and all that fun stuff because to be quite honest it just makes our lives easier and I know a lot of people are against it but I am definitely not I love it <laughs> so yeah that's my opinion on that um I'm just going in here and putting some like points around the the areas that don't have anything um, just so it doesn't look quite so plain in those areas and then I just filled in the gaps that were still left with some dots because like I said dots literally solve all problems <laughs> 
So anyway, that is number two done. I'm now going in with a third one. So for this, I am mixing black with the colours that I used again. So the lavender gel paint and the dark blue gel paint. Um, yeah, I'm just mixing those with black. They look pretty much black on the palette, like in the light, but they're not. They're actually quite, they were actually a bit too light, which kind of bothered me. <laughs> but there you go. So I'm just going in and placing these again in completely random places, nothing in particular, like no real proper way of doing it, just throw the colour everywhere. Because obviously the good thing about using flakes in designs, especially ones like this where you're covering up a lot, is the fact that you are covering up quite a lot. So it doesn't really matter if you're not really keen on your base because any bits that you're not really happy with, you can literally just put some flakes on top and it will automatically look really nice. <laughs> So that's why I like doing like layered in-depth designs with flakes. It's because you can't really go wrong with flakes. So that's that's really good and obviously makes our lives easier. I'm really sorry if I sound like I'm out of breath or whatever, but genuinely curling my hair is like oh just the longest mission ever. <laughs> And that is what I'm doing at the moment because I didn't really have time to like, I've got a few bits to do today so I didn't really have time to sit and do voiceovers while doing absolutely nothing else. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. So I'm just going in here with more flakes, believe it or not. <laughs> if in doubt, add flakes. Um... Yeah, I don't really think there's much else for me to explain to you in this video because like I said at the beginning, like it is pretty self-explanatory. Like you're literally just marble, flakes, marble, flakes. <laughs> and then whatever design you want to put on top. So it's pretty easy. I'm just going in with another coat that gives me strength here. And then I'm picking up the marbled colours and just, again, putting them all over the place in no particular order. And then guess what? I will probably add some flakes. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to leave the video here, I think, um, if I continue to watch it and then realise that I should have got involved somewhere, then I will. But if not, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all well um, and doing OK with like the lockdowns and stuff like that. Like, obviously, it's a very tricky situation, um, but my main advice is to just hang in there. I know it's easier said than done. I definitely know that. But yeah, just hang in there. Um, and try as hard as you can, as difficult as I know it is, to just think positive. But anyway, thank you so much for watching as always. If you haven't already, then please subscribe. Um, thank you to everyone that already does. It's very much appreciated. And yeah, I'll be back for the next one. Bye!